Hi everyone and welcome to our second session of Family Phonics, Building Literacy Together. Today we're going to be looking at the two pre-reading skills of phonological awareness and letter knowledge. Hi everyone, we're going to be doing our hello songs. So in Chinese, we say ni hao for hello. So let's do hello with ni hao today. You ready? Everybody say Phonological awareness is the understanding that words are made up of smaller sounds. Children can hear these sounds through songs and rhymes. So it's really important at this early age to introduce lots of singing and rhyming to your child. When we sing songs, we tend to slow down our speech. So for example, when we sing twinkle, twinkle, little star, we say twinkle, twinkle, little star and by doing this we can hear how the words are made up of different sounds and these sounds are called syllables. So what can you do to support your child's phonological awareness? So some things you can do of course is to play lots of nursery rhymes um, and songs you can make up songs um, and be silly with it. Get them to um, guess what rhyming word might come next. So you could sing Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great, and you could get them to put that final word in. Um, you could also focus on environmental sounds. They're really great for early, um, really young babies and children. So these are the sounds like of animals, um, what noises animals make, cars, trucks. So anything like that, you can um, just do while you're driving along and singing in the car. Some other things you can do is to uh, have instruments around. So you have the little egg shakers or even using the pots and pans in your house to get your children involved uh, that way. And also another really important thing is to choose books with rhyming text. So today we're going to look at a book, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? Which has a fantastic rhyming text um, and it also shows the rhythm and the flow of a story and introduces this idea to your child. Today we're going to read Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. and the pictures by Eric Carle. So let's have a look to see what Brown Bear sees. What do you see? Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a monkey looking at me. Monkey, monkey, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? We see 
a brown bear, a red bird, a yellow duck, a blue horse, a green frog, a purple cat, a white dog, a black sheep, a goldfish, and a monkey looking at us. That's what we see. And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed that story and that you could hear all the rhythm and rhyming text. You also may have noticed there was a lot of repetition. Repetition in the story means that the same thing and the same sentence or words are repeated after, after each other. So you can see this on each page. We ask brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? And the response is I see a looking at me. So this is great because you can also get your child to guess what might be looking at them and you could also introduce some environmental noises with um, animal sounds when you're looking and talking about each different animal in the story. So let's sing some more nursery rhymes now so we can hear the different sounds and the rhythm in the songs. Thanks Zhao. Now we're going to be doing Twinkle Twinkle Star together. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky So now we're going to read another great story um, called Bonnie and Ben Rhyme Again by Mem Fox and Judy Horacek. And this book's um, really great because it has lots of rhyming um, repetition and it also has um, some classic um, nursery rhymes included in the story. So I hope you enjoy it. Bonnie and Ben Rhyme Again by Mem Fox and Judy Horacek. Bonnie and Ben were a boisterous pair who loved yelling rhymes in the open air. So they said their goodbyes with a kiss and a hug and went out for a walk with their friend, Skinny Doug. Skinny Doug was the one who time after time had kept them entranced with rhyme after rhyme. So as they set off, he said, where will we start? You now know so many, you know them by heart. Soon a small hill appeared up ahead. There was no hesitation. The two of them said, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. And Skinny Doug said, I love it, I love it. Well done and hurrah. Can you tell me another? How clever you are. When a couple of sheep appeared up ahead, there was no hesitation. The two of them said, Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, bringing their tails behind them. And Skinny Doug said, I love it, I love it. Well done and hurrah. Can you tell me another? How clever you are. When plums on a plum tree appeared up ahead, there was no hesitation. The two of them said, Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating his pudding and pie. He stuck in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, What a good boy am I. And Skinny Doug said, I love it, I love it. Well done and hurrah. Can you tell me another? How clever you are. When a hairy black spider appeared up ahead, there was no hesitation. The two of them said, Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. And Skinny Doug said, I love it, I love it, well done and hurrah. Can you tell me another? How clever you are. 
When magnificent roses appeared up ahead, there was no hesitation. The two of them said, Ring a ring a rosy, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. And Skinny Doug said, I love it, I love it. Well done and hurrah. Can you tell me another? How clever you are. When their very own ha house appeared up ahead, it was already late. There were stars overhead. So without hesitation, the two of them said, Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. And Skinny Doug said, I love it, I love it, hip hip and hooray. What a beautiful rhyme for the end of the day. Goodbye and good night, dear Bonnie and Ben. We'll say some more rhymes when we all meet again. Not long after that, in their room down the hall, young Bonnie and Bed said, nothing at all. The end. So now we're going to look at letter knowledge. So letter knowledge is basically knowing your ABCs. Um, we know that letters have names and also have different sounds. So when we sing our alphabet, we sing A, B, C. So we're naming the letters. But when we're looking at phonics, we're actually hearing the sounds that the letters make. So we're going A, B, K, D. So what can you do to develop your child's letter knowledge? A lot of them are things that you'd be doing already, um, singing the alphabet, reading books with bright and bold and simple text, um, pointing out the initial of their name when you're reading uh, to them. Also, you could use things like alphabet posters um, with some great wooden jigsaw puzzles. And you could also use fridge magnets. Um, we've got our fridge magnets on a, a baking tray, but you could obviously put them on the fridge at home. You could also around the home label different objects. Um, so they have that association with the word and the object. And you could also encourage your child to read books um, where they have to find different objects and, and shapes in the book. And also another great game um, is I Spy. So now we're going to look at some um, songs that support this letter knowledge. So of course we're going to look at our ABC, but Zhao also has some special vowel single sounds that she'd like to share with you. Donald had a farm and today we're going to be singing about three animals a cow a horse and a duck so ready Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O and on that farm he had a cow E-I-E-I-O with a moon On that farm he had 
a quack quack here and a quack quack there. Here quack there quack everywhere a quack quack. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Now we're going to be doing a letter O. O makes the sound O, like O for orange. So this song goes to the tune of Old MacDonald. So if we're ready, it goes. Now it's dark, the lights go on. O O O O O. Time for bed, the lights go off. O O O O O. Now it's dark, the lights go on. O O O O O. Now it's dark, the lights go off. Oh, 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 oh. We're going to be doing letter U. U makes the sound ah, where we pull our mouth apart ah. And now we're going to be singing this song where we pull up an umbrella. So are we ready? Ah, ah, up go umbrellas. Ah, ah. Up umbrellas, ah, uh, ah, uh, up, up umbrellas when it starts to rain. Ah, uh, ah, uh, up, up umbrellas, ah, uh, ah, uh, up, up umbrellas, ah, uh, ah, uh, up, up umbrellas when it starts to rain. Now we're going to be doing letter C and K, and they make the sound K like a castanet. So you can pick up one if you have one at home or you can do this like I am doing. And the song goes, we are clicking castanets, k k k. We are clicking castanets, k k k. We are clicking castanets, we are clicking castanets, we are clicking castanets, k k k. We are clicking castanets, k k k. We are clicking castanets, k k k. We are clicking castanets, we are clicking castanets, we are clicking castanets, k k k. Now we're going to be doing letter D. D makes the sound d for drums. And to sing the song, you can look for a little drum. And I've got my drum here. So let's sing the song together. See me play on my drum, playing drums. It's lots of fun with a da 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 da. See me play upon my drum. See me play on my drum, playing drums. It's lots of fun with a da 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 da. See me play upon my drum. Hope you enjoyed our session today. So we're going to say goodbye for now with If You're Happy and You Know It. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, Thank you and we'll see you all again next week.